Yo, 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 what's going on my YouTube family? Um, here to give you guys a little quick review or rather instructions on how to set um, APRs, multiple um, map switch in, in your vehicle. Now, when you um, get an APR tune, um, you do have to um, pay for the option to switch. I have stock, um, 89 octane, I have uh, 93 map, and I also have 100 uh, map, which is a uh, octane, which is a racing file. So if you're ever in a situation where you want to take your car to the track or you want to be more aggressive, you can switch to maps. Or let's say if you're in an area to where you are mapped for 91 and 93 and they're out of gas, you can switch it back to stock. So I think this is a pretty cool feature um, to have. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how it works. So the way that it works is you don't start your car you just pretty much put your car into ignition Testing. mode. Um, once you put your car into ignition mode, so once you put your car um, into ignition mode, the only thing that you do at that point is you come to cruise control, which is right here. And you just basically push the cruise control in towards you. So as you can see, I just pushed the cruise control towards me. Now, everyone is going to have um, a set code for their cars. If it's 141 or 142, I'm not going to show you guys that, but basically what you do is you just go bam, 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 whatever your code is. You click it the amount of times and they give you specific instructions. I'm just going to show you guys how to change the map. So once you move the cruise control this way, you press down this button right here on the cruise control, which is the... I guess the uh, button that initiates anything that you do, the select button. So once I hold this down, you're gonna notice the check engine and APC light. It's gonna beep, it's beeping once per second. That basically means that it does some um, stock. Now, after it does a three increment, you know, run, it's beeping twice per second. And that's gonna be the second file. Now you can see It's beeping three times per second, that's the third map. Then once it goes through three loops, it's gonna be four times per second, that's the fourth map. So you just let it go anytime in between the, the map and then the APC light is gonna blink four times to show you that you're on the fourth map. So that's pretty much it. You can start your car. I mean, you're good to go. I just want to kind of show you guys how it works with the um, tuning. So if you need to take your car back to the dealership, you wanna put it on stock mode, you know, um, this is a good way you can do that. Um, so um, pretty cool feature. And also guys, this right here is gonna be the Revo SPS controller. And on the Revo SPS controller, you basically, pre-loaded um, in the computer and you can, for example, you can put whatever file where you want where. So as you can see on the back, this shows you stock is one, performance A is two, performance B is three, performance four is C, anti-theft is, um, is on five, anti-theft off is six and firmware update is nine. That's when you're trying to, you know, load the program. So you do this all in the computer. So whatever you want to put performance A or B or C on, like for example, when I was running my myth, I made performance C um, four. So then you just basically put this in your OBD port and it'll beep to let you know when the actual tune has been loaded into your car. And as simple as that, the one perk in, um, Revo though is you can actually set your timing. Um, your it's three things to tune, and you have your boost, your timing, and your fuel. So you can actually change your timing, your boost, boosting your fuel. But that's that's why a lot of people scared of Revo because it gives you control of it, and a lot of people blow their engines because they put too much boost or not enough timing, or they're running rich or running too lean. So you got to really know what you're doing in order to use this. 
But yeah, you can basically control um, or set each function and you can just come right over here and you can just put it on whatever map you want. So it's kind of the same as um, APR, only you plug it in and you and it, it'll be like twice or three times once you put it in. So that's if you're running Revo. Revo is a great company. The tune with Revo was definitely a lot more aggressive than APR. Although on top end, they're pretty much equivalent. I can say APR is like a right hook and Revo is like a jab to each his own. The, you know, the one thing that um, APR has over Revo is that they have torque management to where right before you switch gears, it, it kind of, um, it kind of takes away a little bit of torque so it's a seamless gear switch so you don't get that dump that you would you know um which is ultimately better on your transmission but when you're a car guy who cares right but yeah i think they're both pretty good tunes I, i'm currently with um apr for two reasons one there's not a lot of revo shops um in my state anymore one about six hours away and two um, I, you know, I still want my car to be able to function and, you know, take the weight it can. And, you know, like when I did, um, you know, some dyno comparisons, um, to the two, they both ultimately, you know, had the same top end power. So I'm basically getting to the same point, you know, at the same time. Now, if you want to do some fun, high spirited driving, then, you know, Revo is, is a quicker on the lower end because it's just a more aggressive tune. So it's to each his own. But yeah, just want to kind of show you guys these two, how they work and how you change the functions. All right, peace.